Hey yo, what up guys? I'm gonna do this video real quick, um, or at least as quick as I can, as fast as I can. This video was re uh, requested by my main man, Ian Jose. Thank you for requesting this video, Ian, a uh, fellow or loyal viewer of my channel. And this will be the final video in my AX series. I know in the last Sakana video that I said that that would be the last video, but this will probably be the actual last video. Actually, no, I'm not sure if I will do this one or the in retrospect video first. Actually, let's just make this the last one. I don't want to eat my words. All right, I said I would make this quick. Let's get into it. All right, my haul is over here. I put it all in this giant Nikkei bag here that I got from the uh, Nikkei booth. Um, but we're gonna start with some stuff I just pulled out here. First things first, um, oh, I'll start with this. This is not really from AX, it got from LA area, but I'm a, uh, it's anime related. So we have the Anya cup sleeve from the alley. They had a Anya, oh, sorry, Spy X Family, the Alley collaboration going on. We had this in Fountain Valley, California. I actually went to the Alley twice during my tenure in SoCal because I loved the Alley so much, man. Their Anya drink is out of this world. It was a strawberries peanut drink. More boba chains need to stock this drink. Peanuts in your boba drink is phenomenal. Must try. And this collab was really cool too. So Alley, please come to NorCal. All right, so let's just go for my prints first because these are kind of taking up a lot of space. So um, I have like actually way too many prints in my room right now. This is just a few. I actually go through a rotation. I have some more in my closet, but like not enough wall space. So I try to hold back, but I did get a few prints here and there. So I started off with this uh, sweet sibling one. Um, not many people know, but Ling is actually my favorite sweet sibling. So it's nice to have her front and center. Um, or in the foreground, so to speak. Um, this is also a value pick. It's an eco economical pick because this print has three sweet siblings on it. So I don't have to buy one separately for each sweet sibling. So got this nice print here, pretty print. Um, also underneath, I got, uh, I'll try to show you guys. Uh, okay, well, that was a disaster, but whatever. I got this foil print of Lady Bonje from Honkai Star. I don't know if you can see in the camera, the foil, the sh holographic shiny etchings. Absolutely beautiful print. I don't have this character yet. In fact, this character, as of the filming of this video, has not come out yet, but I bought it full faith. I'm gonna pick this up from the floor. Last thing to talk about, I bought this cardboard cutout here. Um, of Kaching from Genshin Impact, and you may notice that this is signed by the Kaylee Mills, the official English voice actor for Kaching. I lined up for over two hours to get the signature. Was it worth it? Absolutely not, but it was an experience. So cool that I have this. I'm gonna maybe frame it, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I was considering putting a popsicle stick on it and using it as a fan. That would be pretty funny, but I don't know. I just have this signed, and maybe I'll put it in the folder or something somewhere. Cause I don't know if I want to hang up something that I have signed. All right, I'm gonna put this away somewhere. All right, let's go into the bag. Actually, no, I have these, I forgot. Shout out to the artist, Grape. Um, but I have these spinning, um, spinning stands here. We got Mudrock here, using her skill too. And then we have Topaz here, using her burst. Very, very cool um, acrylic stands here. I saw this on Twitter, I had it yet. All right, I'm gonna slowly go through some of the stuff in here. I don't know if I'll go through it all because a lot of it is random freebie garbage, but starting off, we got a golden Kamui figure here of a Sherpa, you know, best girl in the show. Uh, unless you like that one girl, I forgot her name, the, you know, the fortune telling lady, but yeah, solid figure. Um, I actually got this from a mystery box. I got priced in by my boy Ethan and um, my boy Chow. We decided to all do a group order and each get one um, mystery bag, and within my mystery bag, which is Golden Kamui themed one, I got this Asirpa figure, which honestly is a pretty decent pull. I'm not complaining. So then there we have that. Um, please excuse me as I continue to pull things from this bag. I just have like a bag here. It's just a bag you get for free for going in. It's a fairy tale bag. Um, I have this Ark Knights bag that I got from the uh, Ark Knights exhibit. In the, ex in the entertainment hall, for Yostar, I should say. 
I actually haven't looked inside what it's what is in here, but as you can see, there's like a passport here, a sticker sheet. I'm not sure what this thing is, but this is actually a decent bag. Oh, there's more stuff in the back here. Actually, no, this some of the stuff is not from Yostar. I just stuffed it in this bag. We got the Gunmachan thing here. <laughs> Shout out to Gunmachan. He betrayed me and Michael. Um, and yeah, more random stuff from Yostar. So I have this Yostar bag here, pretty cool. Um, what else? <laughs> Free headband from Yostar booth as well. I was wearing this on day one, I think. Um, this is uh, closure. Uh, free mask from Ami Ami booth. I don't know what I'll do with this. I'll probably throw it away to be honest. <laughs> um, all right, free Nikkei towel. Got big diesel here. And Dorothy and a couple other characters. Interestingly enough, this is like one of those beach towels that's like super thin and super long. As you can see, it's pretty thin here. It's not like the, your typical, whatchamacallit, like a, like a shower towel size or hotel, hotel towel size. It's thin and long. So it's kind of a strange size, but we'll see how it goes. From the Honkai Star Rail panel, I have this holographic, I don't know if that's the right word, but transforming. Firefly postcard thingy. Very cool, we got Sam and Firefly here. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't played the game, but uh, sorry, it's like all over the internet, right? Um, so yeah, this was a freebie for going to the Honkai Star Rail panel, so it's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have in here? Like some kind of free program I got from Bandai booth. Um, Lots of freebies in here that aren't really worth talking about, to be honest. Um, so this is this is a free Uma Musume sticker I got. I got Special Week. I don't want to open it, but just imagine it. Uh, what is this? Manga Gamer. Random postcard I have, or business card I have. ReZero random postcard I have. I dropped, oh, this is my badge. Nice badge, I'm gonna add this to my badge collection. Nice lanyard as well. Oh, there's one lanyard that I can't show you right now because it's not in my room or it's not in my, it's not here right now. But I, I did get a free Sinon badge from the SAO GGO experience, uh, but I had to use it to tie up my bag of um, cheeseburger, late night cheese, cheeseburger flavored Doritos. I opened one up and I couldn't find anything to close it with at Jeff's place, so I used my scene on lanyard to tie it up. Um, free sticker here. Um, hopefully there's nothing NSFW in here that would get me demonetized. Actually, I think I see something. Actually, no, I think that should be good. But yeah, um, here we have random business card. Oh, it's the same business card. We got a random Vanguard card, shout out to Jeff. A Kaiju number eight pin. Very cool, shout out to, thanks Ethan for this. Random stickers I got for, um, from the, oh, look, sorry, the camera wasn't on the thing. Random stickers I got from the uh, Grand Archive booth. I'm sad, they were giving me a free trial decks, but I wasn't able to get one because I went there too late. There's one thing I was regretful about this um, this AX is I didn't go to or I didn't spend as much time shopping or looking around as I wanted to I went to I think a few too many panels and I spent way too much time in line for this autograph this autograph you see here of Kaylee Mills I mean she's cool she's probably one of my favorite English voice actors but um, I I would think I could have spent my time better elsewhere I have these packs here of the Nikkei me me metallic cards here um, it's, uh, this one's for Ian I haven't opened it yet this one's also for Ian. I'm gonna give them to him next time I see him. And then I have this one here opened. This is mine. Um, I opened up on Jeff's uh, Jeff's lucky couch. If you guys know, you guys know we had there's a very lucky couch at Jeff's place. But yeah, here's my polls. Not very good in my opinion. Add me and Julia. I mean, I have both of these characters, but I don't really like either of them. There's the backs. Pretty nice cards, honestly. If there were like any characters I was interested in. It would have been hype, but unfortunately I'm not interested in these characters. But it is what it is. Alright. Oh, let's go. Got the concrete dog tag. 
cement from Arcanites. I don't know if I'll put this on my dog or not. Probably not, but you know, pretty cool. You like hardly ever see cement merch. It was at this really popular Moo Moo booth in Artist Alley. Um, like things, stuff was selling out there left and right. I got a random blind box for Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage, of which I will be downloading shortly or sometime from now because I need to honor the panel that I went to. Um, I won't open this up right now, but I got this girl right here in the pink hair. I don't know who she is, but shout out to her. I got her. New waifu. And then I got this Nikkei mystery thing here. I got Neon. Not who I wanted, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to open these up now because I want to make this video as short as possible. And I'm also doing the one-handed um, <laughs> operation here, so it's, it's kind of perilous. Alright, I don't know what this is. Oh! This is my raffle ticket. I forgot I still have this. Raffle ticket from the Honkai Star Rail panel. Uh, if they called your number, you would win big, but I didn't get called. Free Polaroid or whatever you call this card for Shadowverse. And there's my stats right there. Hollow, hollow or what, Shadowverse card. Um, here's a Moo Moo sticker. Fat looking fabulous. Emperor. Pin. I still owe Ethan for this actually. I gotta message him about this. I'll message him on Discord shortly. But I got this lovely Emperor pin from the official Arknights. Um, oh, sorry, it's an acrylic standee. But I got it from the official Arknights and Yostar booth in the entertainment hall, which I could not get into, but my boy Ethan was able to get in, so he bought this for me. Uh, shout out to Ethan or Karmakazi. This. Uh, um, Acheron from Honkai Star Rail Fan. This was a freebie from the uh, Honkai Star Rail panel. Very nice fan. And... Oops. Len from GGO Keychain. This is a freebie from the GGO experience in the Exhibitors Hall. Random pin. Oh, this is what, what Chow gave me. Cory in the house pin. Very nice. And we're almost done here, guys. Another Vanguard card. It's the same one actually, but I have another one. It's a very scuffed filming, I'm sorry. This was part of my mystery box. I figured out who this is, by the way, thanks to Ethan's reverse search. And I'm ashamed I didn't recognize her, but this girl is from Reincarnated as a Vending Machine. This is a, this is a side character though, so I kind of forgot about her, but she's like this wizard lady who's also got Isekai, I think. Um, but yeah, cool character. Good pull. We got the program here. Nothing too interesting with the program, to be honest, but it's very helpful if you need to look up maps and things. Because honestly, the the app on the phone, if you don't have good connection, you can't really read the maps. So this is helpful sometimes if you, if you don't want to use the app or if you just want a bigger version. But this the, the, other, the problem is that it's not very portable. Um, random Kaiju number eight thingy here. Well, first we got this thing. It's a postcard for the house of Tata Morgana. No, Fata Morgana. Whatever that is. Animate postcard. Got some coupons here. If you want to use them, go ahead. I'm probably not going to animate anytime soon. An Arknight sticker sheet. Very nice. Let's look at these derpy characters. Pretty fun. And the Kaiju number eight catalog here. Very nice. Oh, we got a Nike, um, well, I don't know what you call this, but inside is kind of like a rubber strap. And I opened this earlier. I got Modernia, which is the one on the far right there. And let's wrap this up. This is literally like some random flyer. I, I don't think it's very interesting, but let's open it. Out of curiosity. Oh, whatever. This will stay folded. And then the final thing in this bag that I was afraid of showing, so I am going to only show a part of it. Shout out to Elijah for giving me this um, this sticker. I definitely will not use this, but I appreciate the uh, the the um, the gift. You know, um, thanks for looking out for me. You know, I like tanukis or reptilia or whatever. I'll remember this. And that's probably gonna do it for the AX haul. I mean, there's some more stuff that I didn't show, and I'm sure there's stuff that's like in this backpack maybe, I didn't unpack yet. 
Um, but for the most part, it's probably like 90% of the stuff I bought or got at Anime Expo this year. Anime Expo overall for rating, I'm gonna review it very highly. It was probably the most or the best run Anime Expo I've been to in a long time, best managed. Um, it was it was like the best since the early days of Anime Expo, like when I first started going around like 2016 or 2015, I don't remember exactly when, when anime was less popular. Those were the glory days, but this is truly a return to form. It was less busy, easier to get into the things you wanted to do, and just less crowded in general. So, Anime Expo is gonna get a 4 out of 5 from me. Very, very good convention. Great if you want to see your favorite voice actors or industry members and uh, directors and things like that. Also the best place to get merch. If you're lucky, uh, uh, excuse me, sorry, and able to get into the lines because some of the lines get capped and it's really troll. So yeah, this is gonna be wing drops with the haul video. I tried to make it short, but I guess I couldn't still, but at least this is relatively short. You know, I have some 20, 30 minute videos out there on my channel. And there's one last item that I didn't show in this haul. But if you're an IRL that you were with me at at, uh, at AX, you probably know what it is. It's the thing I won at the wheel mini game. You know, the one where you spin this? Yeah, I can't show that on screen here. But I did win that thing. The pocket boy or whatever it's called. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I remember it's called now. I won't say it. But yeah, I did win that thing from that, uh, from that uh, raffle giveaway thing where you spun the wooden wheel box thing and the ball came out. All right, that's the haul video. This is your main man wing drops, and we're done here. This video is sponsored by Chicken in a Biscuit. Chicken Biscuit. Build a beautiful. Subscribe. 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 Like the video. Yes, my Share friend. It. Blame your fate.